All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the new event, well, basically the launch event, and I'm going to be telling you guys to start now, right? I'm going to explain to you how it works, and we'll do all that good stuff going over the rewards, and also just making sure that you uh, don't lose out on rewards too by uh, not checking something. Now, of course, I know no one is checking everything, which is why I'm doing videos like this, and because reset soon, I want to make it now, I think. I don't know when I'm going to release it, hopefully before reset. Um, but before we get into that, I do want to just say this. So if you would download Jujutsu Kaisen on my link, this is going to be my referral link and it would greatly help me and support me if you want to play on PC. You could either check my streams or any of my videos recently on Global and you could see that it's been running really, really well. I haven't had one crash, which for me is also very surprising because even on Black Clover Mobile, it does crash. But Bluestacks has been working very well with JJK and if it... Is something that interests you it's also going to support me so that would be greatly appreciated if you do want to download jjk with my link in the description and comments down below now let's get into it what is this event what could we expect from it all of the above so a homesick horizon it is a um story event okay there are certain things that are going to be giving boost points and then you're going to also have like a kind of mini gotcha so first of all there is event missions and you're going to want to um try and do the dailies but this you might not be able to do every single time 20 times could be a lot and then there's also normal now in normal you could actually get a good amount of cubes but also some pulls for uh, itadori's banner so you could do it one two three four times right um so uh well four four tickets right so that's going to be some that you just want to use guaranteed and yeah i mean now there's some other rewards and let's explain what exactly it is so first of all you're going to be doing the normal mode and it's going to consist of eight quests including i think some stories if i remember correctly now once you're done that you're going to unlock the hard mode now with hard mode it's going to be five quests these five quests are going to be giving you a good amount of rewards right so what it's giving you is these and these is it's basically your energy to, and stamina to do the new boss right and then um as you go along the rewards besides this are going to increase so you see that it's silver now and then it's gold right and then it's uh two right so that's basically it my whole thing for like probably releasing this early is i want you guys to get as far as you can to three and if you want to start sweeping now you can because this resets every single day it's only out for a certain amount of time and as we're in here pretty early it might be good to min max some of these rewards to what you need, right? You don't need to completely skip every single one, right? You do not need to do that. But at least doing maybe some sweeps if you get three, right? As you can see here, you're able to sweep would be pretty, pretty good. Now, what exactly do you use those um, little, these things for, right? That's going to be used for the boss battle, which we're going to do at the end of the video, okay? Um, I could probably do up to very hard right now, I, I think. I'm going to be streaming right after this, which is why, I mean, I'm definitely missing uh, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, uh, power so we're going to be getting there later but i should be able to get the very hard and we're going to see how exactly it works we'll do it a bit we're not going to go too crazy on it but as you can see here when i do this one you get 12 plus drop items um 18 okay now besides just that we're, we're going to do the boss afterwards so if you want to check the timestamps you go ahead and do that so in, t in total i could do uh 12 right i'm able to do 12 and you can also practice if you want okay and uh, i mean that's essentially it for this, right? You do your rewards and then you're going to be getting the scrolls. Now, what exactly do the scrolls give you? Well, that is the whole point of today's video. We're going to talk about a couple things and also the SSR recollection bit you could get. So when you summon, right, you're going to be able to get certain prizes. Now, there's certain different price pools and every price pool has a certain amount. For example, I could get crystal object chests and other good items. And then the main target or like when you reset it is going to give you the recollection bit, which we're going to talk about after I go through all the rewards. Now then, when I finish this, when I get all 69, funny number, I know they did that on purpose. Then afterwards, it's going to take 200, okay? I'm going to get some uh, crystals here, Jujutsu crystals, and then some other stuff. And then another recollection bit. Then we continue on, we get one ticket with some more crystals, some uh, some more chests, right? And then we get another recollection bit, another recollection bit, another pull, okay? And then more uh, chests. Then here we get two pulls. Okay, so, so far we're up to four. Another re recollection bit. Phantom Metal's actually really, really good. I'll mention that more in another video. Even more chests. And then a 
This is huge. A recollection bit SSR dupe. You get a universal dupe for any single recollection bit with three more pulls. So in total, that's five, six, seven pulls so far, right? Then more phantom medals. So this is going to be a very good event, even for the phantom medals, huge. And then four pulls, right? And then you're going to get the chaotic jujutsu crystal, which is for the later uh, skills, right? Um, and then afterwards, it's just infinite for 1500, right? To get all this stuff. So, um, overall, the rewards are really good. The standout rewards is the fact you get, what, 7, 9, 10, 11 pulls. You get 11 pulls, you get um, a universal dupe, and you get a full SSR recollection bit pretty much for free. By doing this event, you get all that good stuff. You get 11 pulls, um, and, well, the recollection bit plus the dupe. So, first of all, I'm going to go over the uh, dupe, what exactly it does. It's a dupe, right? I just just to make sure in case people didn't know. But you're able to limit break, right? And instead of using a actual dupe, you're able to use the this this uh, mirror thing. I don't know what they call it. Um, and through that, you're able to limit break and increase the limit break level. Now remember, when you increase the limit break level to one, right? It's going to make it so you get a new passive completely. Like this passive is 200 alt gauge increase per wave, right? Which is a huge one to get. Plus also extra levels equals extra total stats. So you're going to want to be careful with it. But some of the better SSR ones, that's for sure one you're going to want to put it on. Gojo's is definitely one you're going to want to get for sure. Um, in terms of other ones, I will. I do plan on making a video for that. Um, but if you if you want to use it right away, I would probably recommend not to. But if you do, you can ask me down below what you have. And you could ask if it's worth it. Okay, that's uh, thing number one. Now then, thing number two. Thing number two. We're going to talk about, um, where is it? I'm trying to find, okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about the uh, memory, right? The, the recollection bit. So, what does it do? First of all, it gives HP an equal physical and curse. So, equal Taijutsu and Jujutsu, okay? With pretty good HP. Overall, we take it. Now then, this one is going to be where minus five, because you're not, you, actually, you're going to have a max duped. Yeah, 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 you're going to have a max duped. Triggers upon using any command skill. So, any of your basic three skills. Applies 45% physical technique increase to self for a total of one time in one turn. You can use it again after four turns. Now, when you dupe it out once, you get a 10% damage uh, decrease, right? So overall, this is going to be a decent one for Itadori, but not crazy. Now, this one, if you really don't get lucky in memories, then this one could be good for Yuta. Yuta has a balanced build between both Taijutsu and Jujutsu. So having this, right? For Yuta, maybe saved in the back burner to level up later on the line if you don't get anything is not a bad idea because this is going to give increased Taijutsu, but it's not the best one, but definitely one that could work. I'd say one that just increases damage for Yuta would be better, um, in my opinion. But hey, if you want to keep this one on the back burner, go ahead, right? I do not think this is the best ever. Um, let's look at the art real quick. Pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be decent enough. Now, real quick, so that you do not uh, lose out on certain points, right? If you use Itadori, you use the memory, and you use the gacha one, well, you're going to be getting increased points. So basically, how these points work, uh, how these bonuses work, is every time there's a new event, obviously, it's going to kind of give you extra points for summoning on the gacha banner, which is basically how they incentivize you even further, even if the units are not the best. Um, so yeah, if you use them, that's a total, even without dupes. Well, with this, it could be max dupe, but it's going to be 30 to 50, 50% 50 increase, right? Which is going to be very good. So you definitely should be using them. Now, um, I will be using them. Okay, I will, I will. I just got to see. So I'm probably also going to be building a Kaido on stream. So I haven't done that yet. So I need to use the two. So I need to use, uh, well, I, okay. So I need to use, though the future may differ, which is a fire name, by the way. And I bought local souvenirs. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start fighting this, see how it goes, formation. Um, we'll put it on Itadori. We'll put it on Itadori, I guess. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, they already have the bonuses here. That's good. So we got this. And then we'll uh, just put it on Nobar. Uh, we could put it on Nanami. Yeah, we'll put it on Nanami. Um, there is another thing. I think I could dupe it out again. So let me just do that real quick. Let me just dupe it out once more because, yep, there we go. We have another dupe readily available. Um, and there we go. Just want to click on it just to make sure we're good. Get it to 65 for a 3% bonus. Okay, perfect. So now that we did that, let's go in and see how far we could get into the event. Um, and yeah, so we have to do it, right? And Itadori is strong against it. I kind of do want to put him in the front. Maybe we're going to swap just for this time, even if he's a bit weaker than Nobara. Also, is this Jujutsu? Or damage? Ooh, damage. Okay, perfect. That, that could work for uh, him then. 
All right, so this is going to be the team we're using just because he has type advantage. So why not, right? Why not? Um, I personally have not been the biggest fan of Itadori yet, but I think with time, he won't be that bad. Honestly, he won't be that bad. No way, no way, no way. Um, like as I use him more in launch, not like after a little bit, but you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So uh, we're just going to go. doesn't really matter. We could probably just go like this and we'll be good. Also, we're going to... Yep, we'll do that. Perfect. That might be enough. Hopefully. No, okay. So it's like decently tanky. Well, yeah, no, it is actually pretty tanky. Okay, so then we'll, 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 use, the, we'll use them, we'll use them, we'll use them. Uh, punch, and then I should have probably used the damage increase. It's fine. Uh, so another damage increase. Okay, another one. And then bop, and then bop. All right, so almost down. We get another turn, so we get to do this again. And then bop, and then you should be dead. No way, no way they, should, they survive this, right? Um, I'm definitely sometimes going to put Kaido instead of Nanami. For sure. Like, Kaido just being able to give in vulnerability, essentially, is going to be very strong. And look at that. So we got 56% up, which means we got 29 instead of, I think, was it 12 or something like that? Oh, not battle again. So now you're going to want to obviously go to as high as you can. Um, so I would honestly just wait, right? You do it once, and then you wait till you get to the highest stage. That's essentially it. Okay, so you're going to do one of each. And once you're able to do this one on top, then that's when you're going to do it. But obviously, I think it's only three times a day, I would like to say. Um, so yeah, like you're going to do that three times a day. And anything you have extra by the end, or if you want to do a bit more before, then yeah, you could uh, you could do that. So um, let's just go in. So it's 10k, we're at 17k. We're, we're chilling in that regard for sure. Plus we have Itadori... Um, type advantage so that should help at least a little bit so we're gonna go for full buffs the first turn and then we'll see how that uh, continues along um okay so uh let, let's use them boost boost we'll boost and then uh boost perfect okay so there we go the i think that's decreased damage taken if i'm not mistaken okay crit and black flash increase perfect and now bop that's fine okay boost again now we could have uh no we're, we're gonna boost and then since i already used this we'll use the skill one perfect so now gojo should do decent enough damage i'd say itadori next turn should be doing pretty good stuff too um okay so now now we're uh oh we don't even have it yet we're at 25 no we're at, we're at 20 okay, okay okay we're just gonna use it then all right perfect let's see how much itadori does are we gonna break him soon i think we will no we're not oh gojo was close gojo was close yeah, you're not going to be doing much, to be honest. You're not going to be doing much, my guy. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Bop, and then there we go. So yeah, Gojo versus this is not as strong. I feel like Nobara would be better because she could get her stacks up, but it's fine. Uh, we got to use the um, goaded combo alt, so there we go. And bop. So honestly, I don't even know. Like, the animations to me are fine. Like, it's nothing crazy, but I don't really need anything crazy, if I'm being honest. And I I don't know. I need to see a lot of the more recent alts to really have a good opinion on that. That... Oh, I didn't use Gojo's uh, memory. I didn't use his memory. Oh, but wait, they have the alt afterwards. Okay. Thank God. If I used the memory, he would have died. Yeah, wow. But he's broken. Thank God. Oh, because look, I, I lost out on 70% damage there. So keep that in mind. All right, there we go. So we cleared that one. Um, Let's try not to forget about that next time. And all right, there we go. So now we got 88 and 63 um i don't can we sweep these can we i'm not sure i'm really not um let's just continue along we'll we'll see so just to see can we sweep oh successive auto battle so i guess it's the same thing uh probably all right now then i have to clear within five turns i really feel like nobara would still be better for me like the points don't really matter it's just nobara yeah, I feel like Nobara is going to be a little better because she's going to be able to... Do I want to try her out. We'll try her out with uh, the alt, right? And this is more the team people are going to have built up, so keep that in mind. Formidable foes on the loose. All right, that's fine. Um, So we're going to see... Okay, wait. So which one decreases damage? Damage taken... Increase, okay. Uh, Is it the alt? I think it's the alt. Yeah, okay, it is. We'll do this. This. Um, we're going to start putting the nails. We don't need to use that. We're going to put the nails and buff. All right. So after this, we should start being good. I just want to give a bit of damage increase, get the stack starting. Gojo is going to be able to start doing damage now. 
and then she gets her nails right that's basically it um we're gonna put this one since now yep obviously then that now we're gonna put more nails and then after we're gonna use the alt well no we we have to continue stacking technically uh we're gonna probably use the skill three now yep here we go okay damage increased uh yep perfect put some debuffs okay six nails now yeah that's the thing gojo single target is not exactly crazy um so so we'll see if we could beat it if not it's fine i'll be able to beat it on stream which you guys will be able to watch relatively close to when this video is out or when this video is out um i'm not really too sure to be honest so let's let's see how this goes i should have used the yeah that's fine okay bop unfortunate okay so yeah i don't think we'll uh yeah i probably should have used i sh sorry i should have used it before we're gonna use the this and then we'll, we'll get out and then yeah we'll see yeah we get alt damage increase okay just perfect that's huge that is that is really big how many turns three okay all right so there's three nails we're gonna put more so that we could uh have more for the alt and then we're gonna use this this time right we're gonna use it and there we go oh Nanami had it i didn't even, i did not realize okay here we go um okay but how much barely anything damn okay okay well that that is that is rough that is definitely rough um there's six nails on her okay let's see how this goes let's see how this goes i don't think she'll be able to do uh enough if she does as much or about as much as uh, 200k then that's that's gonna be good but yeah no no crit especially nope okay so we could quit this um all right i just wanted to try it out uh you know we're gonna continue doing this as i beat uh the harder stages i'll probably try and uh you'll see it on stream you will see it on stream uh but i just want to kind of give a guide and then show that off but we have 200 of these and you want to put this when you summon to 100 times okay you want to put it to 100 times because it immediately immediately consumes everything and there we go so we get all of these rewards very good very good and now um current reset okay so now we can reset the rewards and when we reset perfect it updates and now um i have four so we're just kind of waiting okay we we wait and I'll, I'll continue doing that later more on stream so yeah now we got missions done perfect oh wait that's more summons that's more summons there we go um so we can do 48 and then that's going to give some pulls love to see uh, not pulls but it's going to give a bunch of good rewards that's going to help me so yeah um just scale up with this event it's going to be very good to do early on and i mean yeah that, that's literally it um there's not really much more to say boost units make sure you use them if you have them or whatever but uh, yeah that's that's it i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye